On today's video, we are going to be learning how to integrate Google Calendar with WP Travel. WP Travel plugin provides the Google Calendar feature which allows you to integrate Google Calendar with WP Travel plugin. While integrating Google Calendar with WP Travel plugin, trip which has been booked in the website will be created as event with few information in the Google Calendar. To find out how to integrate WP Travel Calendar with WP Travel plugin, please follow this step-by-step -step guide. So, after activation of WP Travel Pro plugin, you need to enable WP Travel Google Calendar modules by going to WP Travel and settings and from there to add on settings here you will be able to see this WP Travel Google Calendar settings option which might be currently disabled but make sure it is enabled and save your settings after enabling WP Travel Google Calendar you can see Google Calendar option in miscellaneous option tab by going to miscellaneous option which could be found in the same WP Travel settings Just click on miscellaneous options and here you need to scroll a little bit down until you find Google Calendar section here you need to add a available option like for example client ID client secret and a redirect URL which is given by Google Calendar with client ID this option allows you to add client ID client secret this option allows you to add a client secret and redirect URLs option is to add URL of the settings page where Google Calendar option is available now you need to click on this here which will redirect you to the Google console side as could be seen on your screen here you can find the Google API client ID and Google API client secret. Okay, so now you need to create a new project and to do so, you can follow this step-by-step -step guide again. First of all, click on this select a project and from there click on this new project. And here in the project name field, you can name your project whatever you would like. After that, click on this blue create button and you will be able to see a pop-up just appear where you need to click on this select project. You can also select it through the select project drop down option. So we are going to click on the select project option and now click on the project you created. After selecting the created project, you will be redirected to the dashboard page. Under the dashboard menu, go to the API and services option and from there to credentials. Here you will be able to see this configure consent screen option. Click on that and here you need to click on external and finally click on create. After clicking on the create button you will be redirected to the app information page where you have to fill the information in the required fields like for example app name, user support, email and app logo etc. The app name in this field you can add the name of the app and the user support email here you can add the email address which has been used to create the project in the google console and under the developer contact information the email addresses added in this field are for google to notify you about any changes to your project so let's quickly add a app name and the email address and also under developer contact information you need to add an email address then again go to credentials and click on create credentials and click on the second option select web applications under application type add name of your client and add urls under the authorized redirect urls the urls of the setting page backend of the website where google calendar option is available you can view the redirect urls under the redirect urls description in the google calendar section too then click create button a pop-up section will appear where client id and client secret could be seen click on ok and head over to the consent screen and here you need to add the email address which has been used to create client id as a test user now the point to be noted here is that if you don't add a test user gmail in google console then authorization error will occur during login through google calendar section so in the test users click on add users and add the email address and click on save finally go to library and search google calendar api and click on first option here you'll be able to see this enable option Click on that and you're pretty much done. Now after creating client ID and client secret along with enabling and adding other different required options in Google console, you have to add client ID and client secret as well as redirected URLs and Google calendar section in the backend section of the website as we have mentioned before. Now click on this Google login and login with your Gmail which has been used to create client ID and client secret in the Google console. So I'm going to select the email address. Click on continue and you are done. Now the point to be noted here is that if you are already logged in and want to log in with a new ID and client secret, you can just log out, refresh your page, add a new ID secret and save your settings and refresh page and log in again. 
otherwise authentication error may appear. After finishing all of the above steps now you need to book the trips on the certain date. It will be saved as event for the selected date for booking of the trip in the Google Calendar with few information. Google Calendar event displays the information regarding the trip title, customer name, who booked the trip and booking date, time slot, location, phone number, email, trip price, trip packs, trip edit link etc. So now let's just quickly book a trip by going to trips and all trips and from there to the trip of your choice and simply head over to the front page and click on this book now option select the packs and uh, click book now just fill all these fields and select a payment method and do your payment just complete the booking process now once you're done with completing the booking process if you head over to the Google calendars, here on the particular days that you booked your trip, you will be able to see a new event is just added and when you click on that, you will see all the information regarding that particular trip. Now the trip total won't be displayed in the calendar if you have booked the trip without payment, like for example, if you have selected booking only. So that was it for this video and if you learned something new, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and share with friends. Until next time, peace.